Um, all right, let's talk about some of the stuff uh, in the Observer. So the story about WrestleMania, your entire preview is in the issue. Is there anything when it comes to the odds where you're like, hmm, these odds are a little wide in this way, and I, and, and I kind of wonder about that. The only one was I, I thought that Sami Zayn would be the favorite over Gunther. Um, that's, that's, that's pretty much the only one. The rest of them it was kind of like, yeah. I, th- I then- wonder if it's because people think Chad Gable is going to turn on him. Yeah, could happen. And also, um, the other one is uh, the ladder match because there could be two winners and probably will be two winners. That's like a hard one to figure out and probably, you know, Priest loses maybe and then maybe cashes in. That's a Yeah, what about what about Seth and Drew? I'm actually interested in that one too. Yeah, I mean, Drew's a big favorite. Um, but I could see, I could see like... Um, Drew winning in a priest cash in. There's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different ways that can go. I could see Seth winning in a priest cash in with Drew laying out Seth afterwards. So Drew causes the title loss. Um, you know, there's, um, yeah, that's possible. I there's so many different things they can do, and and um, I mean the, the 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 good thing is is that they don't have to worry about booking repercussions one bit because there's. Nothing that they could do. I mean, literally nothing that they could do, including Cody losing, where it's going to hurt business. Because we already saw that last year, and, and and they're just so hot. When you're hot, you're hot. You know, that's the thing in wrestling. And granted, I know that, you know, you can look back at Hogan and Sting, and that was the hottest WCW probably ever was. And they did that match, and um, they quickly were not that hot. But um, this is a different level of hot than that was, even though people will not, will, will not, Sometimes you you romanticize about the past, and and WCW was doing very well with business and everything like that. But this is so much hotter in different ways. Like I said, I mean, look at the secondary market. That that, that type of stuff is what really tells you how hot something is. Mm-hmm. And it's it's nothing. Even in the Attitude Era, you know, I mean, um, yeah, you know, the Attitude Era, they weren't doing stadiums for Royal Rumble and and SummerSlam. You know, they were. Yeah, they were for WrestleMania, and then they, they, they actually they didn't for every WrestleMania either. Then you know they did at the Astrodome in two thousand one, but that was the tail end. Sixteen, so, uh, not sixteen, uh, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. They went stadiums, I think, and then twenty they went back to Madison Square Garden. Yeah, but not every time, and then not for you know other shows. And, you know they'll be doing. I mean, how many stadium shows are they going to end up doing this year? Um, you know, Clash at the Castle. What the Clash the, 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 the castle. castles in the castles indoors. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they didn't do it for Clash they, of the Castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they and I don't know I don't know why. They proved they proved two years ago at Clash of the Castle that they can go outdoors and and do a giant gate. So I don't know why they, they're not going outdoors, but I'm sure there's there's reasons. Does, the fact that they're running where they're running, doesn't that tell you a little something about Drew? Oh, that maybe he's going in as champion? Or just like I know we keep saying that he's not resigned, but that's like the well, I, 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 you know, pen to paper, but nobody thinks he's not going anywhere. I know people ask, well, what about you know? Do you think AEW can get him? And it's like I, it, it, I don't think so because one of the things is is at that level that these guys are at. When you talk about the level of you know millions of dollars a year, um, for, you got to remember that these guys and Drew McIntyre is very much one of these guys. Okay, you know the. The guys that really take this business seriously and um if they are on a run you know what i mean it's it's like that's their childhood dream and all that stuff and they're not going to get off the run and he's got you know whether it's the seth thing or you know whoever it's going to be next and obviously the punk thing which is months away because of punk's injury i don't i mean it's like i don't believe he he's going anywhere i know that when this thing became an issue was before he did this character Mm -hmm. and i think the main thing was is that he was concerned that a you know he wasn't going to get a shot you know and i mean things happened if punk hadn't gotten hurt who knows where he'd be on this show Mm -hmm. right um instead he's because punk got hurt he's in the middle of the mix so he's happy like when punk if you remember when punk showed up you know he he legitimately was not happy. You know what I mean? He, he did walk out. And I know people think that that one was a work and, 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 and conveniently with hindsight, they'll probably bring it up. But, but on that night, it was not a work. The Seth was a work because Seth was the one who was going to work with punk at the time. But so, so the whole thing is, is that, um, 
you know, and, and, and I think that he was having, um, you know, I mean, he was, I know he was, he was having a situation where, look, I've been in the United States for all this time. I've missed all this stuff with my family back home. And you get that feeling. And that's a tough one, you know, where you're, you're gone from your family and, and, you know, you have loved ones that die and weddings that you miss and things like that. And he did have this feeling of wanting to go back. But I think that the feeling is, is that there's probably a time to do that. But right now, this is the, this is the best run of his career. It's mm -hmm. just, it's not the time to leave, you know, for him. Um, you know, yes. Could he make a lot of money um, going to AEW and he could make a lot of money going, you know, and I, I think WWE would probably pay a lot to keep him. So, um, you know, he, 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 he may just, you know, use that and, and probably should, you know, I mean, is let the thing go and, and see what's out there. And, um, you know, but with the idea of probably WWE, you know, I mean, if, if that, if, if I was in his position, that's what I would do. But I, like I said, don't expect, I don't expect him to go anywhere. And it, I just don't think from a fun timing situation, given the lay of the land today, I don't think he would have more fun in AEW. There might be other another time where I would say differently, but this is not that time. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, we have fresh stuff there, but his fresh stuff in WWE with Punk is is much bigger than anything he's going to do in AEW right now. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I don't, I, I expect him to sign. I'd not, um, you know, and he, and he he might have in the last, you know, week or whatever. I don't know. I haven't checked in a week. I was at the gym this morning and I see pat mcafee and i see triple h and michael cole i didn't see any of it or hear any of it but I, I knew that it was on and then when i got back from the gym uh someone had tweeted and shared the tweet that triple h made a comment about uh grinding or something or being a grinder. yeah 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 i mean i mean i'm sure there's a lot of of stuff i mean i i actually saw that um i didn't see the whole interview but i did see that comment and I, I did feel um, like at first when he said that it was it was that um, it was basically to say that he would hear or he would see when some of these guys signed somewhere else and say they chose it because of the lighter schedule. And his his thing was, um, if you're a young guy and that's what you want, then I don't want you here. You know, I want people who are, who are going to who are going to be happy with the grind. And he made the point because when I first thought i go like hmm. i mean obviously he's talking about aew because they have mm -hmm. the lighter schedule i mean that's you know and it's like um and you know who made the comments the young bucks adam page and um omega um when they signed was one of the reasons and the deciding reason was the schedule but he also made a point of young unproven guys now i he may consider them young unproven guys even though omega's in his 40s and the young bucks are i think 35 and 38, 39, you know, I mean, they're older now and Adam's in his early thirties. Um, and, and, you know, and he did kind of make a statement, you know, in that same vicinity about, and it was, it was that same conversation about how, you know, kind of like trying to do that thing of like, we're, we're the big leagues. And it's like, you know, not everyone who's good in college football can make it in the pros. You know, he went to that. That was the analogy he went to McAfee with. And it's kind of like, it doesn't matter what you've done elsewhere. It's what you do here, which has always been the WWE mentality. Um, and so it could be, in, you know, it, it could be a response to them, you know, with him thinking that they're young and that, um, you know, that um, they didn't want to embrace the grind and blah, blah, blah. Um, and I thought maybe he meant Osprey because there months and months ago, Osprey's very recent or not that recent because he's actually November. But um, and my thought on, you know, when it came to Osprey is like, look, Osprey, you know, I mean, there's a lot of factors that went into Osprey's decision. But at the end of the day, the, the main factor was one side offered way more than the other. And, you know, like the idea that you should want to go to WWE because we're the big leagues, so we don't have to offer you as much money and you have to work more dates. It's like, you know, if you're going to get mad at people who make a decision based on that, um, you should be in, you should like understand their shoes because, um, you know, it's, it's like there's, you know, I mean, and, and the guy's going to have better matches in AEW. Um, will he have the same spotlight? No, he won't. Will, when his contract is up, 
will he be more valuable in WWE and will his price be up because he went to AEW and didn't go right to WWE for sure. Yep. You know, I mean, that's, and that's part of the, the reality of this too, is that going in both sides. Um, but I think going from AEW to WWE is a very valuable jump. Now it may not be each time it happens, it will be less and less valuable. I mean, it was, you know, obviously Cody being the first one we've already seen. Right. And now Cody's making more money than, you know, he should be making more money than anyone except for um, Dwayne. I mean, he should be making more than Roman. Whether he is, I don't know that he is right now, but he should be making more than anyone else. I mean, he should be, and and far, far more than, um, you know, than he ever made in AEW because he's far more valuable than he was when he was in AEW. Yeah. And I'm sure he's making more than he made in AEW by a, you know, I, I'm sure of that. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.